Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome back to Foothill Paint Fabrication. Well, today we're on the 1950 Chevy truck, the front bumper apron. I think that's what it's called. And uh, it looks pretty good. Zero rust like a lot of the truck. Uh, it is a little wonky. It's got some twist and it's got a big hoop de doo here and one over there. But all in all, it's in really good shape. Uh, so today we're going to straighten it, get it sanded, and get it primed. So uh, let's get to work. Okay, let's just take a little quick look at it. Uh, license plate holder's got to come off first thing, but uh, there's a lot of waves and twists in this thing. You can see where there's some kind of kinks and then a uh, big hoop to do right here. Down on the end here, it's got a little bend in it. So uh, the biggest thing we got to work on today is getting it flat and getting the twist out of it. So uh, let's see what we can do about that. Okay, we've got it upside down and uh, you can see hammer marks right here. But on the other side, perfectly smooth. So there's some body filler on the other side. This has been obviously straightened before. And uh, right here where we have that big kink, uh, big bend, um, there's hammer marks right here. And on the other side, even with it bent, it's nice and smooth right there. So that's been straightened at that spot before. So we're gonna have to be a little careful. I'm gonna do a lot of pushing and not hammering uh, because if it's been bent back and forth before, it's going to start, it's probably getting work hardened right there, so I don't want to crack it. So let's, uh, let's figure out a way somehow of pushing this back straight uh, as, as easy as possible without uh, doing a little more work hardening on this thing and have it crack right here. So let's, uh, let's figure that out and then uh, get this thing straight. Okay, so what I got set up here is a piece of uh, square or rectangular tubing. It's a pretty good size. I just had some scrap laying around. I've got uh, two uh, squeeze clamps just holding it, and it's pulled flat against the uh, square tubing or rectangular tubing. Then I got a piece of uh, inch and a half, I think, uh, tubing right here with some C clamps. And what I'm going to do, I've got it pinched down here, and then I'm going to just use that as a lever to push down right down across here and just see if we can get this pushed down. Now, obviously, the sheet metal is going to get longer. As it goes, these squeeze clamps aren't that strong. They got rubber feet on them. It'll slide underneath them. So it's not like we're gonna bind it or anything. So I'm just gonna go and crank on this a little bit and just start off nice and soft, nice and smooth, smooth and just, just push on this and see if we can get it straightened out. And you see we got a pucker forming right there because that was all stretched out when that, uh, when that bent this lip right here uh, stretched. So we're gonna have to shrink that back down. And already, instead of using a hammer, we're pressing. Now, we're able to push over a large area. A lot of times when these dents go in, they go in a large area, and then we grab a hammer with a very small face and try to hammer that out. It's, it's, it, I found, for me, it's a lot easier to uh, push dents out than try to just hammer them out little by little. So we're getting already getting down pretty flat. It's groaning a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one up. Now there's a lip on here. Uh, it's right, this is sitting up on the lip. Now I can't exert enough force to push that lip out just with C-clamp, so I'm not too worried about it. But in a minute here, we're gonna switch to a smaller piece of score tubing that'll fit down flush on here. And then I can hold it and then I can start hammering this, uh, straightening this out. So let's crank it a little bit harder. And that one took up a lot more. And we've already taken a lot of that uh, big, huge dent out of it right there. Now, the back side really was okay. It, most of it was on the front, and it pulled it this way and caused it to um, just bend on the first third of this. Now, I don't want to hammer this, uh, this lip yet. I want to make sure I get it nice and straight and held down tight. And then I can tip this back over and get that shrunk back up. So all in all, it's looking pretty good right now. Let me uh, switch over to a different piece of steel and we'll see if we can't get this a little bit better. All right, I was pushing pretty hard and it uh, still was raised up on the other side. So I was concerned the body filler was a little thicker than I thought. So as you can see, I, I put the grinder to it and we're just hitting steel right there. And that is about a quarter inch thick uh, body filler right there. So I'm gonna grind this whole area, get all this body filler off. And we're gonna try to do a little bit better job than the last guy did 
and uh, get this hammered out a lot flatter and then hopefully just skim coat this with some body filler and uh, not get quite so thick. You can see here there's some cracks in it from me pushing. Uh, it cracked, you know, so, um, so let's get this ground off, start fresh, and then uh, see about getting this straightened up. Okay, some 24 grit on the bigger sander uh, took care of all that body filler. It continues to go down this uh, way. We're not going to mess with that if we don't have to. Uh, then it's lessened over here where they feathered back out. They reconstructed this lip that's along here out of body filler. It even went over the edge here. So this whole area was body filler, uh, fairly thick. So uh, I'm not a great, the greatest sheet metal guy in the world, but I'm quite confident I can do a little bit better than quarter inch thick. So uh, let's, uh, let's get to pressing on this thing again and see if we can't get this uh, big low spot out of here. Okay, I got it set back up. I've got these clamps pushing down towards the edge of this because there's a lip on here and I just want to press this half inch down. I don't want to uh, you know, flatten anything out on that lip. And I've got a couple other small C clamps just holding this up against this lip so it doesn't try to tip away. Then we're just going to crank down on them, that low spot out of there, or at least lessen it before we start hammering on it. It's coming out a lot nicer now without all that body filler in the white. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see. But that, uh, that part that was way too big is uh, really poked out there now. It was really stretched quite a bit. And I'm going to have to hammer on. I'm going to have to shrink that up right now uh, before I go any farther. I'm just going to go ahead and tap it. Uh, probably roll this up. And we're just going to tap on that and uh, force that metal back on top of itself. Okay, that looks pretty good. We'll see once we release the clamps how well we did. But right now, you guys can see, we've got it squished down against this uh, rectangular tubing pretty tight. Now obviously it's gonna spring, bra spring back a little bit, but um, we've just pushed on it. We've not hammered in just one spot. So let's, uh, let's see how we did. Okay, so if we look down through there, we've just got a slight, just a slight amount of roll in it. And it starts here, and it goes all the way to here. So we've got a small amount that we're going to have to over push to get this back out. And so what I'll probably do now is I'm going to put a spacer in between each side here, and then I'm going to push, I'll mark about where I need to push, which is basically here to here. And I'll put a spacer underneath here so uh, when I push, I can go a little bit farther than I need to. And then we'll be able to uh, kind of overstretch that sheet metal back to where it belongs. And hopefully that'll do the job. Okay, so the setup has changed slightly. I, uh, I put a block of wood over here and here. They're both the same thickness. And then I, I found a little block of wood that's about the distance I want to go in between here. I've got it clamped up against the lip so it can't roll off and we are just pushing on that raised portion there. So and then I put a C-clamp on it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently crank on this thing and I position the block in such a way where there's a lot of kink over here on this side and it just kind of slowly gradually goes towards the center. So I've moved the block a little bit closer so it'll isolate it and this block is close to where that bend is as well so it's going to kind of isolate the pressure right there. So let's just go ahead and crank on this and see what happens. I'm not quite sure what will happen. I look down through there, I can see this is coming out really nice on this side, but not so much on this side. So I will add another clamp a little bit closer here. But this clamp will fit. Oh, we're just short. All right, well, we're going to have to move that other clamp over. Now, looking down through here, I'm looking as I crank, 
and it's actually looking pretty good. I might have to tap down inside here to get that to release. All right, let's let it loose and see what it looks like. Okay, I'll roll it up so you guys can see. And we are way flatter than we were. I'm not saying it's perfect. Uh, I can see some light in there. And the problem is now we have is this lip here from this portion over is pulled down. So we're going to have to uh, pull this whole lip away down right there. And to fix that, we're going to clamp this back down and I'm going to uh, drive this with a block of wood and a hammer and I'm going to attempt to drive this down so it's, uh, it's as on the same plane as the back portion here as that seems to be the problem right now. So I'm going to go ahead and clamp it down and we'll get to hammering on it. Okay, I'm just going to take a block of wood. I've got it clamped back down to the uh, rectangular tubing, but I have that piece hanging over and uh, it's still too high right here, obviously. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive this. I'm going to put this block right on this lip right here. There's a little raised lip here. I'm going to put this block on here and just hit it. Clamp's not wanting to stay. All right, switched out to a C-clamp. See if that helps out a little bit. Now sighting down this thing, I can see that it still has a little ways to go, but it's looking a lot better. And this lip now, right here, is closer to the correct plane instead of being rolled you know, up and then just filling it with body filler to make it right. Now we're still going to have to put body filler on this, but hopefully we'll just be doing skim coats and not, uh, not blobbing it on there. So it's actually starting to look pretty good. I can actually probably get a dolly on it now. Yeah, it's looking a lot better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dolly all this uh, and get this some of these low spots out. And then, uh, then we'll eyeball it down here and see how we did. Okay, after some more hammering, I dollied kind of the rib back in here, and it's uh, looking pretty good. This line isn't as straight as I'd like. This roll has been pulled over, and I'm having trouble getting it back. But all in all, you can see right there, we've got that a lot straighter than it was. It's ready for, just about ready for a quick sanding with some 24 grit to see if there's any high spots. This lip right here is actually looking pretty straight. It's not too bad. And uh, we took that extra steel out of there. So it's looking pretty good right here. We've got something going on down at this end. That's what we're going to work on next. And uh, I'm pretty happy the way this came out. As you can see right there, this is pretty flat. Now this thing kind of waves a little bit anyways. I don't know if I can get it perfectly flat. I don't know, even know if they were perfectly flat. Uh, where these are spot welded on, it seems like it's puckered them along the whole thing. So. Well, I'm going to strive to get it as flat as possible, uh, but then we're just going to fill these areas and sand up the rest. So let's see what we got going on in this end. Okay, so right here, we're on the other side. If I put that block on there, you guys can see, let's see if I can get that angle just right. You can see we've got a pretty good uh, little dip right there. And it's a very big and gradual one, and most of it's on the back side here. The front side's got a little bit, and we're going to get that out. And so this whole thing, area from this brace, and generally that's when it happens, right? It's bolted solid here, it's bolted solid here, and uh, you know it gets bent, and that these are going to hold, and this is going to bend. So we're going to see if we can just gradually just kind of step on that or push that out, and uh, and see if we can get this straightened out too. This side down here, it all looks pretty good. It's got a little kink right here. We're going to try to get out, but all in all, this end down here we just worked on is looking way better. So let's try to get this side to match. Okay, so I've got it clamped down to the uh, rectangular tubing. I just got it held here. This is about generally where that starts. It's pretty much from here to here. And then I've got a, a clamped a piece of wood down on the flat here. So that's pulling that flat to the uh, tubing. And then this lip right here is, uh, is got a, the rise in it. So I've got my uh, favorite block here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap on this 
and try to get this reveal underneath here to match because I can tell it's higher right here. So we're just going to start and I've got that ground down. I could use either end and we're just going to isolate this a little bit. And I'm just going to keep checking the gap down through here. And that's looking a lot better right there already. Now this, uh, this lip has got a little wonkiness in it, so we need to straighten that out. I'm going to see if we can't uh, just tap on that. And I took that kink out. I got a little bit going this way. There we go, that looks a lot better. All right, now let's check the front, see if we need to do the same thing. So we've just got a slight amount right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a couple of taps. And it doesn't take a lot. You've got everything clamped down. Um, the sheet metal is not bouncing or anything, so a little bit of a shot with a hammer and a block will go a long way. So you got to be careful and take your time. All right, let's get it unclamped, see what it looks like. Okay, let's put the straight edge up on here. Let's see if you guys, well, look at that, huh? Not bad. Let's get an angle where you guys can see. Um, it's pretty flat already. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Now this rolls off right here, and I'm not entirely sure if it's supposed to do that or not, or if it's supposed to be perfectly flat but I'm pretty sure we can hold this and just kind of bend this whole arm back up to where it belongs. Uh, the other ends are a little whoopty too. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna tweak on this a little bit and I'm gonna probably check on some pictures online and see how flat this piece is supposed to be. Okay, something I didn't notice before, but this bracket is actually uh, twisted and bent right here. So we're gonna straighten that out real quick. And then uh, I've got it clamped right here in the center and I've got right at the end of this bracket, this uh, wing, let's say, is kind of going up like that and it's not a perfect plane straight across there. Now the other side already did it and what I did was just basically make sure the rectangular tubing or block of wood, whatever you've got yours clamped to, stops right where the bend starts or maybe just a little back behind it and then I'm just gonna take my body weight and I'm just gonna put my hand, open hand right in here and I'm just gonna push gently and then I'm just going to keep sighting down this thing to see if it's uh, it's straight across here and it's our, it's looking pretty good I just need to put a little more on it and that's uh, that's looking pretty good right across here so off camera I'm going to straighten this bracket real quick it looks like it's twisted I'm going to make it match the other side it's kind of pulled and turned because it's got a big dent right here so we'll be able to get that out pretty quick and then, uh, then we'll move on and double check all our work and see how straight we're looking. Okay, I got the, uh, I got the other bracket straightened, so we just have this outboard one to do. So we just need to pull this back over and straighten this up. Just got a piece of that angle iron here found in the scrap. We're just gonna put a C-clamp on here and basically just pinch this back in where it belongs. If I can make this work one-handed here. Okay, we got the clamp, it's trying to slip off, <clears throat> but we're gonna squish it down as much as we can, and then we'll get another bite on it. You can see up inside there, <clears throat> right there it's just kinked over. Not that big of a deal to straighten. Okay, so we just pinch that straight. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna probably dolly it a little bit. And then uh, we gotta make sure, now this is twisted um, like this. So looking at the other side, I can tell I need to take this and actually twist it back straight. <clears throat> and to do that, I'll probably just clamp something long on here and then I'll pull uh, and hammer, hammer at the same time. 
So looking at the other side, this whole piece is kind of leaned off like this. So I'm going to try to pull down a little bit and tweak at the same time. It looks like it's pulled away from the uh, steel right up underneath here. And I don't see any spot welds. I can't feel any spot welds, so I can't tell where it pulled away from. So I'm just going to bend a little bit and pull at the same time. That's getting a little better. Yeah, that's starting to look a lot better. All right, let me get this off here and we're gonna get all this straightened up. Okay, we had to move over to the ground so I could stand on it. So I just got a piece of uh, square tubing. I got a piece of angle iron jammed in there. It gives me the same width. I've got that clamped this way and I've got it clamped up against the bolt flange. And so that's rolled over quite a bit. So, and this ear right here, this little end of it kind of rolls. So I'm gonna stand on it right here and I'm just gonna pull and it gives me more than enough leverage to get that pulled back. And by stepping on it, I can keep the rest of the sheet metal from bending up. I'm just gonna check it, see how straight it is. It looks pretty good, a little bit more. I'm going to hold a little pressure on it. Let's check how straight it is. That's looking pretty good right there. All right, let's get it back up here and see how we did. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Um, this looks a lot better than it did just moments ago. So I think we're looking good as far as this bracket goes. Now on the other side, I don't know if I can get that so you guys can see, but we have a little bit of a hoop to do right here. So if I put a straight edge on there, there's just a dip, a small dip right here. And I don't know if I can pull that out or not. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Because I checked, I went and had lunch already, uh, so I checked, and these are supposed to be flat as a pancake uh, from one end to the other, nice and straight. So I'm going to do my best to get it straight. This uh, had a lot more damage to it than I thought when I first started. So I'm going to try to pull this ear down and then pull that back up. I'll probably just clamp it right here and then see if we can't get that just to pull back up. Okay, so I'm going to put one clamp right through this bracket area just like this to hold this in place. Like so, and if I, put down, if I look down through there, that actually pulls it straight right there. So it's actually flat across there now. So if I just lift up on this a little bit, we kind of accomplish the same thing we were doing earlier, but this time we're just pulling on the top. And that pretty much did it right there. It's not perfect. A little bit of a spot right here. Let me clamp that up and put another clamp on there. Right in the center of the low spot. We'll give a little pull. And that took probably 90% of it out. So that's pretty flat across there. I'm, I'm liking that a lot. So a little bit of pulling, a little twisting, a little bit of hammering, and this is starting to look really good. Now we've got a little pucker right here, but the bumper sits right here. So I want to double check the other side, just make sure that this pucker is supposed to be here. And I don't see it. I see a slight one over there and it's actually supposed to go in, not out. So I'll tap that in. And then we'll go along and we'll straighten this lip up all the way around, make sure it's nice and smooth and looks good. So uh, let me take care of some small stuff and I'll bring you guys back. Okay, I got you guys siding right down the uh, little uh, splash guard, uh, bumper apron, whatever you want to call it. And it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. I put a straight edge across here, although it's not perfect by any means. It's a lot straighter than it was. We got the twist out of it. Uh, we got that big dip out that was right here and 
hammered out uh, where all that body filler was. So we're going to be uh, less than an eighth of an inch thick at the very worst spot on here, only to recreate some of the roll of this panel right here. It's supposed to be flat, but it had a little bit of a roll here um, that, that's on this side, so I want to duplicate that. And then this line right here just needs to be uh, recreated because it's been hammered on so much. It's totally gone. Uh, got grind marks and hammer marks that were there before me. So uh, other than that, it looks good. I can put it up on its edge here. So you guys can see, and it's pretty darn straight. So it's looking really good. Uh, not perfect, that's for sure. Uh, you can pick these up as a repop for uh, probably $100. Uh, shipping to you and everything is probably $150. But uh, we're gonna save this one. So we got some sanding to do. We got a lot of chips and scratches from hammering on it. And then, uh, and then we got some body filler uh, underneath all this. So I'm gonna check the body filler real well and make sure it's not cracked. And if it's not, then I'm just going to sand back and then we're just going to refill this right here and then try to get this flattened out even better. Okay, guys, we're going to have to cut this video off right here. It's getting a little long. This bumper apron or splash guard, whatever you want to call it, uh, had a lot of hidden damage. It's getting a little more involved getting it straightened out. Uh, but on the next one, we'll get some body filler on it and some primer and get it that much closer to color and clear. Don't forget to send me your projects. I'd love to see what you guys are up to, what's going on in your lives. So send me three or four pics. I don't care what it is. Doesn't have to be Chevy truck. You know, it doesn't have to be car stuff. Just send me what kind of projects you guys are working on. I'd love to post them at the end of the video. Thanks for joining me here at Foothill Paint Fabrication. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And mash that bell icon so you get notifications every time I release a new video. We'll see you on the next one.